It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Welcome to Science Bowl. This is it. We've waited all year. This is the finale. Who will be the new champion? Will it be Kenmore or Greenbelt? We'll find out in just a few moments. Let's meet those teams right now. First from Greenbelt Middle School, say hello please to Chitima and Buisi Alavu, Rashawn Williams, and Ryan Mbuashu ND. And from Kenmore Middle, say hello please to Ann Roseanne De La Serna. Prozen Das and John Bridgers. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green Things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body Systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to the difficulty of the question. The easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10 points. The tougher ones, 15, 20, ultimately 25. Toughest question of them all. Both our teams start out with 50 points. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. And at the end of the two rounds, one of these two very talented teams will be the new 2014 middle school Science Bowl champ. We started with 16 schools, and then there were just two. Let's make sure everything's working properly. Let's go to the green belt team. Rashawn, would you try your buzzer? Thank you. Good luck to you, Ryan and Chittima. And Prozen, would you try yours? The green one seems to work just fine with a little assist there from John. Good luck to the two of guys and to Roseanne. Let's get to our uh, game here. We go alphabetically, G before K. So green belt uh, and Kenmore, congratulations. You've made it to the finals here. May the better team win. Start us out, Rashawn. Um, body system for 15. Body systems for 15 points to start our game. Teams, your question is as follows. They recently discovered a skull, a thousand-year-old skull with thousand-year-old teeth that were still caked with this P-initialed substance made of green belt. Plaque. Plaque. Yes, it had bacteria and old food on there. No toothbrush was going to get this off. Go green, or red, rather. Um, Zoo parade for 15. Zoo parade for 15 points. Seems your question is as follows. Although they live lives like insects, these naked mole rats were recently chosen by Scientific American since they have a backbone as these of the year. And more? Vertebrates. Yeah, they were the vertebrates of the year, the naked mole rats. They are strange looking characters. They live underground. They're naked. Yes, indeed. Go uh, green, please. Dateline signs for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams recently sitting between two of these plants that reproduced by spores was President Obama and Zach Zach Galifianakis. Ten more. Ferns. Ferns. Between two ferns. Yeah, the two were insulting each other back and forth. All in good fun. Go green, please. Signs Pope Marie for 20. Pope Marie for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. They've re they recently discovered a virus frozen in the permafrost in Siberia. They thought it, but no worries, it is not fatal to human beings. It is fatal to these very well-known one-celled organisms that move about by pseudopodia. Name that one-celled organism, Greenbelt, for 20 points. Bacteria? Not bacteria. Good try. Name this one cell, this well-known one-celled organism that moves by pseudopodia, prosen. Amoebas. An amoeba, yes. This virus is fatal to amoebae. Go green. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, because ponderosa pines and sequoias and giant redwoods all live so long, they beat out deciduous trees as being the longest lived. They belong to what other group? 
Can more? Coniferous. Coniferous, yeah, they're the coniferous trees. They seem to have the long lived genes. Good. Green. Dateline signs for 25. Dateline for 25 points. Teams, the Smithsonian has 80 books that they say are American books that everyone should read. Moby Dick, The Joy of Cooking, and this book that is also the title of a new science series once hosted by Carl Sagan. Now, Ken Moore. Cosmos. Cosmos, yes, Neil. DeGrasse Tyson is the new host, and it is a marvelous series, Cosmos, based on a book. Green, please. Let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25 points. Teams, the Higgs boson particle discovered back in July 2012 is so important because it is supposed to confer on all other particles this measure of matter. Mass, mass, mass. What measure of matter, Kenmore? Mass. Mass, yes, indeed. Thank you, John, for your assist on that. Good. Green. Uh, Zoo Parade for 25. Zoo Parade for 25 points. Teams, why are spiders a very good example of dimorphism? Can more? They have two body parts. Uh, no. Green belt, why are spiders, this is the 25 point question in Zoo Parade, why are spiders a very good example of, of dimorphism? Yes? What do you think, Green Belt? Um, they have two sets of four legs. No, uh, dimorphism, two different bodies. The females are much bigger than the males. Okay, try again, Green. Um, green things for 25. Green things for 25 points, teams. Plants do not grow well in salty soil because salt tends to pull the water out of the plant's roots through what process? Through what process, Green Belt? Osmosis. Osmosis. You got it, Rashawn. Good. Red. Um, body systems for 20. Body systems. 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. If a baseball player gets Tommy John surgery, he gets a graft of an ulnar collateral ligament in what body part? In what body part, Kenmore? The arm. Uh, uh, judges? More specifically? The forearm? No. Green belt, what body part specifically does the Tommy John surgery correct by giving a graft of an ulnar collateral ligament? Um, radia and ulna, the wrist. The elbow. The elbow is what we were looking for there. Judges, yes? Go red, please. Um, let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, if you're a cook, a lot of times you cook with baking soda. Its chemical formula is NaHCO3. What is another name for baking soda based on that formula? Come on, Green Belt. Nitrogen carbonate. Nitrogen carbonate? Not nitrogen carbonate. Good try. Ken Moore? Um, NaHCO3. Um, hydrocarbonate. Hydrocarbonate? Sodium bicarbonate, or bicarbonate of soda. We would have taken either of those. The buzzer is rung. First round is over. Let's check that score. Still close. Greenbelt, 90. Kenmore, 155. Back with round two in a moment. Don't go away. Simple moments are what make every day count.
Because when you take us hiking, or let us run outside, acting silly, getting dirty, and helping in the garden, you're not only making your day better, you're making our lives healthier and happier. Playing outside is not only fun, it helps us feel our best inside and out. So next time when Mom wants you to take a hike, tell her to go to BeOutThere.org to find fun ideas for helping kids enjoy the great outdoors. Let's be honest. It's not bad for the parents either. They're so cute at this age. Welcome back to Science Bowl. We're in the middle of the middle school final. One of these two teams, Kenmore or Greenbelt, will be the new champion. And as champions and as participants of having made it this far, we have something to reward these young people. They are champions all. First of all, we're giving each of our contestants an Audubon field guide in the field of their choice. Birds, mammals, reptiles, insects as a way of remembering Science Bowl and thanking them for all their hard work. And today's winning team will be taking home a plaque for their school and individual plaques for themselves and also for their sponsor. Uh, treasure keepsakes for their experience here on Science Bowl. Let's go talk to the members of the team. If you've not been privileged to meet them before, let's go over and talk to them right now. Greenbelt, Rashawn. No Greenbelt team, I think, has made it this far. And if they have, they haven't come as close as you guys have. How did you get ready for the Science Bowl? Um, we had um, a few um, uh, actually after school, I mean, no, actually in school practices um, every, every other day because we have um, what's called a second, or our second mod is like an enrichment mm. mod. So we would um, normally come to Dr. Gupta and we'd practice there and we'd also do some stuff on our own at home. Wow. Well, uh, all your practice is paying off, and I know, Ryan, you were talking about enrichment activities before, and I'm glad Science Bowl falls into that category. Dr. Gupta, of course, is your esteemed coach over there at the school, and Mr. Tweedy is your principal. Uh, and did you have an alternate on your team? Um, yeah. Yes, his name was... Uh, Ilham. Ilham, Ilham yeah. All right, and Ilham will be out in just a few moments, indeed. Uh, I know you're still trying to decide on a, a career, but I know you've been working at NASA. Uh, yeah. What, what are you doing out there? Um, I volunteer um, out at NASA um, once a month um, at their Sunday experiment, and um, we um, we um, have like different topics, um, or different science topics that we explain to the public. That's and, great. Yeah. I can imagine you you would be a good teacher. Uh, explaining things because you, you really do a nice job here, Rashawn, and uh, you're a great captain. Uh, Ryan, nice to have you with us today, young man who wants to work for Google someday. Uh, what would you do there, Ryan? I'll be a software engineer, like um, work out the OS, work on the OSs, like mm -hmm. KitKat, is, Android 4.4 KitKat it just came out. Wonderful. All right, so you've already, have you let them know that you're interested? Um, not yet. No, it's never too soon, you know, send an email, you know, a text or something and say, you know, your next employee is sitting out here in Greenbelt, Maryland. You know, give them a heads up that you're coming. Chidman, nice to have you here. Uh, you still have two more years of eligibility. Uh, you uh, are one of the best players we've seen in a long, long time, and uh, you're going to be with us for a while. And uh, how do you know so much about science? Um, well, I read a variety of different books, mm -hmm. and there's also internet out there, so you can basically look up a variety of topics. Absolutely. And you aspire to be? A neonatologist mm -hmm. or a forensic anthropologist. Wonderful. And uh, no matter what you choose, I know you're going to be successful. You have that discipline and that good work ethic, and uh, you're just a joy to have here. Uh, Kenmore, mm -hmm. nice to have you guys back. And uh, the winning of school in Science Bowl history going back 28 years. Great tradition over there, poised to maybe repeat again. Prozen, to what do you attribute all your success? Well, uh, um, all my science teachers, of course. Um, my father for making me practice every day. Uh, my mother also for the same reason. And my sister also for the same reason. You can't catch a break, can you? No. At school, at home, you know, it's Science Bowl, Science Bowl, Science Bowl. Well, uh, they're doing a great job and we appreciate that. And. Uh, you're just, you're just a fantastic player. When you were at Cora Rice, we thought you were terrific, and it's nice that you're here in another school. Uh, over at Kenmore, Ms. Fodley is the uh, principal, and the, who is the sponsor of your team? Ms. Pagan and Ms. Diallo. Wonderful. Ms. Diallo is here today, and we thank her for stepping up and doing this for the very first year, and she's doing a marvelous job because you guys are so well prepared. And someday you're going to be a herpetologist. You're going to be studying more and more about reptiles and amphibians, yeah? 
Do you have any at home? No. No, still not. We've been asking each of you. You've got to get yourself at least a lizard of some kind there. John, nice to have you back. Tell us the John story. What do you do in your spare time? I play on my computer. Yeah. And uh, what do you like uh, as a career, do you think? Uh, either a software engineer, a astro or particle physicist, or an architect. Wow. So you've got some, some high hopes there and some great dreams, and uh, I know you're going to be successful. You're a good player. And Roseanne, this is your first time yeah. here on the show, and uh, tell us how you prepared for this game. Um, well, Miss Diallo has some after school, um, like after school activities, like for science school on Fridays, I believe, and sometimes on early Mondays. So um, we'll get there early in the morning, or we stay after school and we just practice. That's great. And I know a lot of teams, they watch old shows, you know, to kind of get the, the gist of the questions so that they're prepared when they come here. And you want to go in the, uh, to the medical field someday? Yeah. yeah. Cardiologist, maybe? Yeah, cardiologist or radiologist. Okay. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, we wish you luck in that. And also in the second half. Let's get back to our game. Kenmore 155, Greenbelt 90. Lots of points still to give away. The last correct answer came from Rashawn, so start us out. Body systems for 25. Body systems for 25 points. Teams, someone who needs a heart transplant has a very weak heart, but now they are getting an assist because there's a, de a device that can keep this chamber of the heart the strongest. Greenbelt. Is it like the arm? Is it What do you want to tell me? Uh, the aortic valve? Not the aortic valve. Kenmore, one of the chambers of the heart, the strongest of the chambers, the one that is the largest, gets an assist from this device to keep a damaged heart going until the transplant is ready. Name that chamber. A ventricle. Be more specific. The left ventricle. The left ventricle, left, the left ventricle is correct. Yes, indeed. Good guess there. Go green. Um, science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points, teams. Diabetes is a disease that can be numbered one or two. This other disease that affects the liver can be A, B, or C. Kenmore. He hepatitis. Hepatitis, yes. Hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, for which a new drug has just been released by the FDA. Go green. Zuparade for 20. Zuparade for 20 points. Visual question. Look at the monitor. Yep, this is a calico cat. And it is black and it is orange. Interestingly, this kind of cat, they're practically all females because they have what two chromosomes? Ken Moore? X, X and X. X and X, absolutely right. Instead of XY for males, go green. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Seems your question is a multiple choice question. If you've ever seen the winged seeds of a maple tree that flutter down, you could describe those two winged seeds as do hmm. what? You were pressed. Who pressed? What do you want to say? Double. Um, double, um, double linear? Not double. My, my choice is, I'm sorry you rang in. Ken Moore, the choice to describe these two winged maple seeds is duodenal, bicameral, or dipterin. 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 Two wings. That's what that word means. Good. Go. Dateline signs for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Team Joseph Priestley invented the pencil eraser, but he also discovered this gas whose name means acid producer and makes up 21% of the air in our atmosphere. Name that gas. Kenmore. Yes, sir. Um, sulfur. Not sulfur. Greenbelt, what gas did Joseph Priestley discover? Its name means acid producer, and it makes up 21% of our atmosphere. Oxygen. Oxygen? Yes, it is oxygen. Good. Go, Rashawn. Um, green things for 15. Green things, 15 points. Teams, visual question. Look at the monitor. These bottle gourds have been used by people for thousands of years as birdhouses and containers and musical instruments because they were tamed by people to their specifications. What D initial term describes them, Kenmore? Domestic. Yes, domestic or domesticated. Good. Go. Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical. 15 points, teams. If you are an automotive engineer or an aeronautical engineer, you are known more generally by what kind of M initial engineering field? Green belt. Mechanical. Mechanical. That's it. Good. Red. Um, Dateline signs for 15. Dateline for 15 points, teams. Although he... 
Dateline for 15 points. Although he has no chemical element named for him, he has a city on the north coast of Australia named for him, a city that the Beagle never visited. Ken Dar Moore? Darwin. Charles Darwin, yeah. Darwin, Australia. Go green. Science Potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, your question is as follows. What same word means releasing a hand-reared bird from a tower and breaking into a computer? Ten more. Hacking. Hacking, yeah, good, go. Zoo Parade for 10. Zoo Parade, 10 points, teams. What same word is the name of a bird, one of the few that sings after the sun goes down, and probably, <laughs> yes, green bell. Gale, Gale. Um, pass it to uh, Brian. Brian. Gale. 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 Yes. Give me more. Nightingale. Nightingale. That's what I want to hear. Good. Go red. It's also going to say the name of a famous nurse, Florence Nightingale. Go red. Body systems for 10. Body systems, 10 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Teams, if your doctor diagnoses you with apophysitis, it's an inflammation of this body part that was a problem for Achilles. Achilles. Green belt. Achilles tendon. Oh, his heel. His heel, absolutely right. Good. Red. Um, science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Seems your question is as follows. If a baby is not breathing, it is recommended instead of using the heel of your hand, you use two fingers to start this process. Ken Moore? CPR. CPR, that's right. Good. Green. Go. Thanks, John. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, this chemical element has so far kept its name even though its namesake was a planet that was kicked out of the planet club. Plutonium. Greenbelt. Plutonium. Plutonium is right. Good. Next. Uh, red, please. Uh, um, green things for five. Green things for five points, teams. Fully half of the calories consumed by the people on this earth come from this plant that grows in flooded patties. Rice. Ken Moore. Rice. Rice is right. Yes, sir. Good. Parade for five. Super parade for five points, teams. Geico is represented by a gecko. Oh. Uh, lizard. Any more? Lizard. A lizard? Not a lizard. Kenmore. Geico is represented by a gecko. This insurance company is represented by a pachyderm. Um, elephant auto insurance. Elephant auto insurance is right. Next. Good. Go. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. If a state trooper in Colorado thinks you're driving under the influence of marijuana, He's going to check to see if these body parts are dilated. Your eyes. Rashawn? Your eyes. More specifically? Your iris or pupil. Pupil is right. Yes, sir. Good. Rashawn? Um, let's get physical for five. Get physical for five points, teams. We now know that it is a myth that these electrical discharges do not hit the same place twice. Ken Moore. Lightning. Lightning is right. Science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points, teams. Winning an Academy Award this year for Best Short Film was this film named for the second lightest gas on Earth. Ken Moore. Helium. Helium is right. Last question of the game. Dateline for five points. Recently in Southern Maryland, one of these struck and it was rated EF0. Green belt. An earthquake? Not an earthquake. EF0. One of them hit Southern Maryland. A tornado? It was a tornado. With that, we come to the end of our Science Bowl championship. It looks like Ken Moore has won the game. We'll be back in just a moment. Don't go away. Hi, everyone. I'm Emily. I'm super excited to introduce my dad because he's my hero. When I was little, he was doing this really important work, driving ambulances in Iraq. Now he's home, and he's still a hero because he tells the ambulances where to go when there's an emergency. I'm so proud of him. He's awesome. He's my dad. If a service-connected disability hinders your civilian career, Volk Rehab offers a variety of services to help prepare you for your next mission. Hello? Hello? I've been on the street for a while. I've been on the street for a while. I saw your poster outside. I saw your poster outside. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. National Runaway Switchboard, how can I help? Call 1-800-RUNAWAY to make the connection.
simple moments are what make every day count. Welcome back. It has been a long season, but it has been a satisfying season because we get to see two great teams like this battle it out for the championship. And Ken Moore with the scores, 325, repeats as champion now. They continue to be the winningest school in science poll history. They have a plaque for their school and individual plaques for themselves and for their sponsor and Prozen and John and Roseanne and Miss Diallo and Miracle, congratulations. You are the 2014 Middle School Science Bowl champions. Congratulations. Congratulations. And our runners up, they are the best of the best as well. We want to see a big smile from Chittima and Rashawn and Ryan. Ryan came into the last minute. Boy, were you an asset to this team. And Ilham, nice to have you part of the team. Dr. Gupta, you just worked this team so much. Chittima, you are a veteran of this competition. We're going to see her again, and I know we're going to see more wonderful playing. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on the Elementary Championship. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.